All right guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm gonna to show you how I mix some mortar. Now the ratio I'm gonna use for this mix is four to one, which just means four sand to one cement, four parts sand to one cement. You can do four buckets, which is what I'm gonna do now, or you can do four whatever, four thimble cups, four pocketfuls, four barras, as long as you keep the ratio the same, four to one. So I've got a mixer here, got a bucket here, you're going to need your sand, obviously, and we've got some cement here. And, now this is called plasticizer. And you add this to the mix to make it more workable. All right, because if you don't add that to the mix, it just, it, it's a nightmare. And it's very sandy and it dries really quick. So at the minute we've got half a bucket of water and that's it. It's a bit messy because there's been some cement in before. So a couple of glugs of that, <laughs> be generous. Everyone's like, oh, you put too much in. Right, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sand in. So, nice generous bucket there. Now when you put it in, lift up, right, and shake half in first. Right, and then the rest. Now we want to get two sand in first. All right, and then we want to get our cement in. Here's a bag I opened earlier. Now, I shouldn't really have a mask on really, but I had the cement in, I had the cement in halfway around if you know what I mean. So I'll put two sand in and then I'll put the cement in and then the rest of the sand in. Now you're gonna to have to really watch for your uh, dusty. I should have a dust mask on, but I can't find it actually, it's disappeared, so. Just stand back, put a half in and stand back. We got some water there, Jane. Okay. And just add little bits of water at a time. You don't want to put too much water in, otherwise you'll be really struggling then because you can't um, <laughs> you can't dry it out. So always just put little bits of water in at a time. So we've added half a bucket of our cement. We need to do the full one now. So right now we've got two full buckets of sand and two, uh, oh sorry, a full bucket of cement. Right, so we let that mix for a bit, let it turn over. This is our third bucket, bend your knees. Try and get the, the water at the back of the mixer. Quick tip for you as well, make your life easier. Make sure the mixer's on a level ground. You know, because if, if it's leaning back, all the sand gets stuck at the back of the mixer and it's not mixing on the blades properly, so. And to help it mix sometimes, you can pop it on a brick. Pop these back feet on the brick, you know what I mean? The more level the mixer is, the better the mix goes. So, that's an handy little tip for you. Expertise mixing knowledge. Right, <laughs> okay. So we're looking all right, it's turning over okay. I'm gonna have to add a couple more glugs of this, just for 
just for good measure because it's not the best you can get I've run out of it but you can get another plasticizer it's more concentrated than this and what you do is you squeeze the bottle and put a little cap in but this one will do for now all right we're nearly ready for our last bucket Bend your knees, bend your knees. <laughs> yeah, so just... Don't be putting the spade in the mixer either, like I've done in previous videos. I don't uh, condone that at all. You could lose your fingers, your arms or whatever, so just use buckets, it's easier. And let the mixer do the work, you know, don't, don't be putting spades in. So we're getting there, boys and girls. This mixer, by the way, I've had it for a long, long time. It's actually KC got it me when I was just starting out, so. It's been brilliant. You look after your mixers. Don't hit the mixer with spades and stuff and hammers. Just keep them clean, you know, as you see on here. I mean, I know it's been worn. It's had a couple of taps here and there, but people start whacking them with hammers and stuff, just misusing them. So you look after it, it'll look after you. I've changed the switch once at the back, that's it. Anyway, we're looking good. Let's have a look at the mixer. That is looking good. That is the kind of consistency we want. Let's have a look. Now, you see, I noticed st when you're stopping a mixer as well, make sure you stop it so the blades are on the left or the right hand side. So that's, that's our mix and that's the consistency we're looking for. You know what I mean? Nice and bonny. Lovely jubbly. It's better. Yeah, it's good. The working times of your cement, it depends on the weather. It's really hot today, so as soon as you get it out of the mixer and it's on the boards, you're really limited to your time. You've got to be fast, really. Otherwise, you keep having to add water and knock it up. Now you can do, there's many different uh, ratios of mixes you can do. This is just a basic one, the standard one which you use for, which is most commonly used in Brick Lane. There's, there's actually a few videos out there, I think, with lime based mixes. Uh, that's if you're doing stonework, and, and the general idea is never, never mix your mortar strength wise stronger than your, your material you're working with. Okay, so there we go. Right, guys, that's good enough for us. Lovely jabbly. Right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I'm carrying on with this build, by the way. And we're nearly done. Well, this side. Got all the brickwork to do, and then I should get a video to you in a few days. Thanks for watching.